Hello guys, hope you're doing great. In this tutorial we will learn about idling and charging locations. This is a process modeling layout as you can see in the screen. To create such layout please go to academy.visualcomponents.com and then to the course Introduction to Process Modeling. So let's get to it. Here you can see two components. One is idle location, the other one charging location. These are spots for resources to idle in case they don't have any task, they will come here and wait for the next task. And if it's a mobile robot and needs charging, this is the place for it. Remember that these components should be connected to the transport controller. In this case, mobile robot transport controller. And there is a button here, connect all idle and charging locations. In case I click on interfaces, you can see what's connected to our transport controllers. Two mobile robots. Quite a few pathways. An idle or charging location. Two of them. And then no tools. Great, so we have them connected. When we have mobile robots with a specific time without task, then they will go to the idle location. If I click on this resource, for example, you see time to idle property. It's 10 seconds at the moment. So if this dude doesn't get any task for 10 seconds, it will proceed to the idle spot. If I press play here now, you can see that they both actually went to that idle location. My simulation speed is a bit fast, so let me just double click over here to set it to 1. So, both mobile robots had 10 seconds as a time to idle. If I click on this idle point, let's just see how it looks like. The capacity is 2, so it means 2 resources can come here and do idling. And then this is not a charger at the moment, but it has a property to be a charger as well. If you want the mobile robots to charge when they come here, you can also set this property to true. But we have the other component as well, charging location, and it has an approach distance. You can put it to any value you wish to. And then the mobile robot will approach this point first, and then from here it will go directly in the charging location. If you want to allow resources to do idling as well in the charging locations, you can set this idling property to true. In case it is not set to true, the mobile robot will be charging until it's enough and then it will go away to do the task or go to the nearest idling location. That could be this one in, in here. Let me just set this property to one that we accept only one resource in the idling point. But if we talk about the charging, how do you know if mobile robot needs a charging or not? Or what are the uh, charging statuses with this mobile robot? When we click on a resource, then there is a power tab under component properties. Let's click there. So here you can activate or deactivate. If I deactivate the power, this mobile robot will run forever. It will not need any charging. But if I enable it, there comes a list of properties that we can use to set and customize our work. So if you use the capacity, this is the amount that it can get. We set it here as default to 100, so it is somehow playing like percentage, but you can set it differently. The initial capacity, we could set it as a distribution or then just a constant value. Busy consumption per hour. So when it has a task, it will consume 15 units per hour. If it's just idling, it will use five units per hour. Of course, you can change these based on your specific mobile robot. You can, for example, buy a specific mobile robot brand 
or at least consider it and come here, set these properties, simulate and then see if that mobile robot is good for you or not. You can run it for days, weeks or months and see if the performance is good enough. But then we have also the recharging rate that when the mobile robot goes on the charging spot, how fast it will be charging. And when the mobile robot in this case reaches the 20% of the charge, that's a limit. So after that, if it has a task, it will go to do it. If it doesn't, it will come here right away to get charged. And then it will charge up to 80%. In case that there is no task for that resource, it will stay here to continue charging. If there is a task, it will go after 80% to do that task. And here you can see the available capacity. So now here we have 99.7 of the capacity for that mobile robot. Let's press play. After 10 seconds, our mobile robot, let me a little bit increase the simulation speed. The mobile robot goes to idle and here we have 64%. Well, we are using a random value between 40 and 100, but this guy is 99. Let's little bit play with the values over here. So if I put the initial capacity to be, for example, 50%, this is just an assumption and an example case to see how it works. And then I leave the consumption values as they are. And then I want to say if it's 50%, then go for charging. And then of course it should go right away for charging because it's already starting with 50%. And when I press play, the value of available capacity will come lower than 50, so it should go charging. And then we want to charge it until, say, 55. Then the mobile robot can go away. Of course, it will go away if this allow idling capacity is turned off. Let's press play. So as you can see, our resource come to the approach point and goes there to get charged. If I click on the mobile robot, we see what's happening here. So you can see already the mobile robot is already charging. You can see it's now 50.6.7 and so on. If I increase the simulation speed, it will charge faster. Yes, so as you can see, it charged fully. And then, because also it didn't have any task, it also passed this 55. And it went up to 100. And then it just came out to the approach point away from the charging location. So let's give these guys some job to do and see the consumption quickly. I would go to click on feeder and then use the mobile robot controller and then the manual process. What I should do is to decrease the simulation speed, choose this mobile robot and then press play. So here the capacity starts from 50 as we set and then the consumption is 15 per hour. So we have a faster consumption than the time that is idling. But after doing the task, mobile robot should come for charging because the charging limit is 50 and the available capacity is below 50. So it's now charging and when it reaches 55 it will go to do one more task. Let's increase the speed that we reach 55 so you can see already it went to do tasks because there was some task waiting it went to do it and then the charge is dropping now. It will drop until 50 then it will go for charging again okay so this was about idling and charging in process modeling hope you enjoyed it and if you have any question feel free to make a discussion in forum
at forum.visualcomponents.com. This was Reza. Hope you have a great time and bye for now.